Hey guys, I'm Lee Morris. I'm here with Pi Jerza, Mike Kelly. We're in the brand new F Stopper studio in Charleston, South Carolina. And with all of us here, we have to do one more photo competition. As everyone knows, I've already beat both of you before, but today I'm gonna beat both of you at the same time. Patrick has set up some sort of shoot. We don't know what it is, but he just he just said, I'm going to roll it in the room. Roll this in the, roll the. I'm gonna roll this in the room. Roll, yeah, it was a weird You know, out. what I did notice when I was outside, it's 20 degrees out and I was gathering the gear out of the rental car. A model of some sort was out there trying to like find her way into a studio. And I'm just putting this together in my head now. Uh -huh. I don't think I put two and two together out there and she kind of looked like she wanted to talk to me, but I'm like, I have a job to do. So there's a model. I think there's a and model. And something needs to be rolled in the room. I have no, like my mind cannot come up with any Idea. Maybe it's some David Copperfield illusion. Maybe gonna it's going to be, be in. yeah, the model on like a luggage rack and he's going to roll it all in. I don't feel like Patrick's going to give us just a straight up competition. Yeah, there's going to be some hook some in here. Sort of, uh, Patrick, there's always some snafu. I didn't even bring my camera. I got my phone. Patrick. Mike's got his $10,000 rig right there. I might, I might shoot on uh, Mike's rig. We'll see. All right, Patrick, what are we, what are we doing? actually rolling something in. There's no person on there. <laughs> There's no person on here. Will our challenger please come out? Okay, there is a person. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Photographing Dana? Okay. Hi Dana. <laughs> I met you on the street, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't put two and two together because this has been a secret to us. And I was like, it's so bizarre. <laughs> why, why, is there, why is she trying to talk to me? But you see me lugging all the crap in. Did yeah. he even say hello? Yeah, I did. He didn't even say hello. I said hello. He didn't even say hello. He didn't say hello? What I, He said morning. I was like, good morning. There was luggage. There was, there was wheels on the Clearly pavement. she does not remember oh saying my God. anything. So wait, what is this thing in the background? You're about to find out. Oh, okay. All right, so shall we pull this off? Okay, that's the wardrobe. So you guys are gonna get to draw who gets to shoot what. <laughs> <laughs> this could go real bad for Mike. What do you think this is? Like boho. And then we have lingerie. And wow. We have athletic wear. What is, is he it, trying to do to us? Is free right label in here? <laughs> He's trying to wreck our relationships. <laughs> if I get B, it's going straight to Mike. <laughs> Can we both agree on that? If either of us get B, it's I mean, I, I would love for Mike to have the lingerie. That's that's what Patrick's dream was to begin with. <laughs> C. I could deal with it. Whoa, 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 whoa. How come I get no say in what, what in the position that I draw? You do, you get to pick. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> Shall we reveal this? He gets to pick right, the last here we one. go. Hey. Ah, <laughs> no! <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I wanted that so bad to, go to, to be Mike. Mike. Mike, you want to switch? No. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Patrick's whole dream was he was like, I want Mike to shoot lingerie. Then he should have given me that. He should have rigged it. He didn't rig it. Here we are. And there's more. Oh boy. So Patrick is now telling me that on these sheets of paper, it tells us what gear we have to use. You picked last. Whatever they're paying you for this is not enough. <laughs> Mike gets to shoot with anything he wants? What the hell? I have to use LED lights. Okay. Pro photo gear. Who goes first? Should we draw for that? Oh, here's more. Oh, there's more. Oh, uh, number two. That's nice. Number one. Okay, there I'm number go. three. I get to see what you boys do. I mean, this is good for you. You're clearly the worst photographer of us. You should go last. It makes sense. Okay. We need to give him some ideas. You have to give him to some, some, some ideas. I have know? a confession. I tried to cheat. I looked at this folded up and I saw the edge of the B and I thought it was an A and I was like, yes. <laughs> and I still got B. <laughs> Even trying to cheat, Karma. he still loses. Karma. All right, Mike. Wait, let's do this. Let's 30 go. minutes? Let's go. Yeah. 30 minutes, anything he wants. All right, what is your game plan? My game plan, so being the you know elevated, intelligent, architectural photographer here, is to do a bit of a wider shot. Not helped by the fact that the longest lens I own is 35 millimeters, so I can't really do a tight portrait or anything like that. So I've got uh, a camera set up on the vertical here in the corner. Uh, I've got a lot of pieces going on here but it's uh, a GFX 100 with the 32. We put up dollar signs while he walks through this. And I'm just gonna kind of go for a classic, nice environmental portrait. 
I don't need to go for some over the top, over lit lingerie thing, just a quiet. Mike, I think everyone watching has fallen asleep. Can we get to the photo shoot here? How much is this lens? Like 2,300 bucks. How much is the camera? 6,400. How much is the? 1,800. How much is legs? 1,300. So 11, 12,000 dollars? Probably. It's gonna be a $12,000 photograph that he's about to take. You see what Pi is doing? He's already setting himself up for his <laughs> iPhone shot so that he looks iPhone. like a genius using a phone. I know what he's doing. I know what you're doing. You guys are so predictable. Let's get to it and let me win this competition. Okay, hi, if you could sit in that director chair, I'm just gonna use you as a stand-in. This might be my shot here. I hope that is your shot. I really <laughs> hope that's it. He is literally shooting this like an interior shot. I didn't realize it was this wide, but I can see the roof. I can see all the furniture. All I can see the back straight. of the Like it is very much just an interior shot where the person is going to be a little bitty in the frame. But to be fair, this is how he beat me in our last competition. <laughs> I'm zoomed in as far as I can go. Yeah, you got a nice essence right there. I like that. That's the introspective author, author look. Yeah, with the, the drapey tongue. You know, the whole idea here was that you were going to have to interact with the professional model. I, well, I had a stand in. I don't want to waste her time. But you know what? She can come in now. I don't want to waste and, her time. Her time is being wasted. <laughs> Trust come me. Come on in. You got the shot you want. I got the shot of you. Okay. You look great. Thank you. I'm going to get you a book. I think that would be appropriate. Um, now, which book? That's a good question. You're doing a very limited amount of shit talking and it's kind of bothering me. I don't know what to do. He, he, he chose a very simple shot. He doesn't even have to do any lighting. He put it right next to the window. You're going for safe, Mike. You're doing safe. Are you comfortable being safe? Yeah. Like, we talk about stepping out of your comfort zone. You've literally stayed entirely in the center of that circle. Yeah. Comfort zone? Mm hmm You're supposed to step outside. Mm -hmm. Mike's literally there. I don't think Mike has ever this, stepped out of his comfort you zone. Can, you can relax a little bit. Yeah, I want you to be like less modelly. A, because that'll be easier on me because I don't have to tell you where to put your arms and legs. And I don't know the rules of like bend it if it shows, you know what I mean? There's all these like, if it's a limb, bend it. I have no idea how that works. He's on. Your eyes, I like the room of the hat and the light is beautiful coming sort of side. Um, it's gonna be your right to left. So pick a page and just kind of relax and like just naturally sort of read it. Do you find that it's weird that she's reading a book but looking out the window? <laughs> it's contemplative. We don't know. She could be thinking about the beautiful image that she's looking in the book. We don't so know. So you're like, find there. a page, the creative but then process look away. takes many twists and turns, Pi. Okay, I'm just. Uh, take a deep breath, just kind of exhale and let the tension. Yeah, there you go. I've literally never used autofocus on this camera, so this is anyone's guess if this is actually in focus or not. That would be awesome if you took only blurry <laughs> shots. <laughs> Are you sure you want that composition, Mike? You literally haven't moved the legs of your tripod in 10 Get back minutes. in that relaxed. Yeah, I, I don't move. Once the camera's down, I don't move. I, I, I want you to be like the most relaxed you've ever been in a photo shoot. Just what does chilling. that even mean? Because you guys are going <laughs> to be like, fall do this, fall and do asleep. this and do a sexy pose and do that. And I'm just like, just chill. Okay. I'll let the photo do the talking. Okay. That's fine. Actually, prop your, prop your knee up a little bit. You know, perfect. Right for there. not knowing how to pose a model, he is being quite specific now. How do I? Change your face. Yeah, change your face. Right there. That 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 was it. That look. <laughs> okay. Just do random shit. Don't. I like what you did, but I'm trying to basically just, say do random just stuff. Do, random. do something that I like. Okay, just there you go. Right. Random. I'm using that line. Just do random shit right now. Yeah. I'm gonna say I got it. I'm good. Really? That's Wait. that's you're happy with that? Yeah. I do want to mention what we're no, both seeing. Yeah. Well, let's go to the camera. Okay, yeah, go, go, you gotta go, you gotta stay in here. Let's All right, just keep doing what we're doing. We had a little nice rapport going there. You might frame the lampshade right behind that. So it's like the hat, right? It looks like she's Abe Lincoln or something with like a white, a white cake hat. And I thought when he moved her, he was like, move this way. I was like, oh, he's gonna fix that. But yeah. no, he moved her into the lampshade to like use it more. I know. It was like, I'm gonna make it. I love everything about the shot. It's a good shot. And you're not saying anything to him. So. Uh, what are you doing, no! Mike? What are you doing? Mike, that lampshade uh, was everything. Doing? That, <laughs> no, that no, was no, no, literally no, 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 the entire composition no, was the no, lamp. No, 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 no. You already oh, got the that, shot. Don't you that, you like, ran what? out of time. <laughs> no, 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 no. The lampshade is behind oh. her head like a big A blinking hat. That is what you're editing. All right, Mike, I have to say, you didn't embarrass yourself that much. <laughs> you were a little impressed. I, I do like your shot a lot. Um, hi, you're up next. Do you know what you're gonna do? I do. I'm gonna waste the first five minutes of my 30 minutes doing Mike's shot better with an iPhone. Okay. And then I'll actually do the shot. 
Okay, so you're not even going to submit. You're just going to show that you can do just it better. Just to be a wiener. I set it up with the idea, of course. It's <laughs> like saying, I'm going to write a Beatles song better. Okay, great. You've had 30 years to listen to what they're doing. Did you just compare yourself to the Beatles? Wait, are you suggesting <laughs> that you could easily create a better <laughs> we're Beatles? The, we're on the same level You here. should totally he do that. He just compared himself to the Beatles. Dana, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to rotate that chair. A little spot of light right here. And I do want this lamp on. Go ahead and have a seat. He busts out the sultry, smooth voice to elevate his presentation. Does that know? make everything better? <laughs> it makes it uncomfortable. <laughs> now, keep in mind, I did the set design. I hid the cables. I do have to admit, like, I thought you were going to do it a little different. You're literally taking the exact same shot. Bye. See, I just, I just set up the T, and then everyone else walks up with their little driver in hand and they just smack it on the green. Your golf metaphor doesn't really make any sense because putting the ball on the tee is easy. Okay, I put it on the green for y'all. Okay. And you're and all then in the sand trap, and, and now you're it. all whacking at it, and then you're like, oh, great shot, we'll just hit that. It's like, a, it's like you know, we're playing a, what's it called when four people play? Let's try to do like a tennis one. Can you do a tennis one? It doesn't work the same. What about like a, like a soccer one? Like, okay, I set up the penalty kick. Okay. And the ball's right there, uh -huh. my composition, and now you're all just coming up and plink it into the net. But is there a goalie who's blocking the ball? It's so easy to score in PK, it doesn't matter. It is? David's ruining all the footage with his COVID over here. I think David <laughs> might have Omicron. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> Look at this! I can't, I can't watch this, this bastardization of my art. I'm out. Dude, if he pulls this off. I put that into his hand as a prop. He wouldn't even have known it existed were it not for that. I don't like, I don't like the mixed lighting. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah. But the thing is, the, re the whole reason Pi's here right now is because he's doing this Lightroom tutorial. And you can change that. And the stuff the that he's yeah. doing in Lightroom right now yeah. is insane. Like Patrick and I are watching him do stuff and we're like, I did not know you could do that in Lightroom. So he's going to beat us in post for sure. But is it gonna be too overworked? You know, like when you work a dough too much and it gets hard and the cookies crumble, you know? Let's do like a cake metaphor. Can you do that? Sure. Well, if you knock all the air out of the batter or something and the cake doesn't rise, then it just you just spend too much time working what it. What about like, uh, you know, like a like a pie? Oh, I like, yeah, like, like a pie that just tastes like shit because you spent too much time copying someone else and now you have a... Pie, I think you've used half your time trying to beat Mike and I'm not sure that you're beating Mike right now. That's straight out of camera, the first one? This is straight out of camera? Yeah, after. Yeah, not bad. I just don't hey, like the light. Give him the comment that is everyone's favorite YouTube comment on a post-processing video. Look better before, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is everybody's favorite for sure. All right, Pi, you have two and a half minutes left to do your real shot. Okay, this is gonna be tricky. There's only four minutes and 15 seconds left, Pi. What are you talking about? I don't know what the heck this is, but I'm hoping I can get an actual blue light out of it. Anybody know how this works? Full CT blue? Let's try that. Well, how do I... Problem? Virgin blue. Oh, blue steel. That doesn't look like blue. I'm gonna take a nap. Let me know when they're ready to shoot. Oh, I see. This is zooming. Zooming it? Why does everything blue look like green? Okay, this is gonna be tricky. Do we have any, like, uh, booming? There's nothing booming wise that we can, like, I just need to see if we're getting a blue. You think you can do better than that? I don't think you can. We're not really. That's pretty nice. Can I see? It does look good, but did you notice there's something missing in this photo? Uh, there was a lamp that was really adding a good. Mm but now it's not. Not bad, right? It's good. Lee, you know what? I'm not gonna play into this game. This whole doing something I've never tried before with LEDs. No, are you giving up already? I'm gonna give up on the LEDs. Yeah. I think he's out of time. I'm not giving up on the LEDs. I'm giving up on specifically this idea of trying to do a you whole bunch what? of different Makes stuff. You know what makes me so happy is when Pi starts to panic. I love it. All of a sudden he starts second guessing himself. Come over here, Dana. Um, I wanna use the, can I use this Westcott light? Is it an LED? Yes. Oh, he's just walking around showing me his shot. Showing me his architectural photo that happened to have a, a person inside of it. <laughs> Anybody want to help me? I mean, I think you're, you're offering like, Mike, you want me to move this from the background? Hoping, hey, would you like help on this? to inspire. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. There's clearly some favoring going on. I think you're playing favorites. I, I think you lost already. I think you're already. playing favorites. And I'm afraid Mike has already won. Are you shooting in here now or shooting yeah, in there? Yeah, I'm gonna shoot in here, but I'm gonna place her against this gray wall. I need a grid for this. Is there a grid for this? Is there any any light control on this guy? No. How about a V-flat or something like I a have flag? A v flat. Okay, yeah. let's grab that. Dana, 
What if you stood right here? And I want you to stand there and then look out this way. Cool. This will work. Uh, can I move this sofa out a little bit? Sure. Can I drag it or is it gonna scratch the floor? This couldn't be better for me. Just watching, I mean, you are literally out of time. We're, now I'm we're not just, out we're of time. Just letting you you are so, time we now. should have actually put up timers because you guys are full of it. Mike. Does he have any time left? Pull up the first photo of her and let's look at the timestamp on it. There was capturing B-roll. Can we just see the timestamp, yeah. please? He was filming you doing, Can we just see the doing your edit. Though? Can we just see the time? 12.29. It hasn't even been, tw it's 20 minutes and you got to subtract all that other crap. Wait, say it, I'm right. All right, he's out of time, but we're giving him some extra. No, say it. He has 10 more minutes. Show your model has things proof. to do today. Um, I just need a actual camera. Want a Fuji? Yeah, I want your Fuji. It's a uh, back button focus, so the A off on button there. We got any prime lenses? No, okay. What do you need a prime lens for? You're right, Lee, I don't. It's not sharp enough. The $13,000 camera system is not sharp enough for you. Lee, can you bring the light a little bit this way? Towards you or her? Towards me and the V-flat towards me. Um, Dana, bring the chin back a little bit. Mike, any, any ISO tips here? Uh, yeah, it's this button uh, here. I to scratch the front of that lens. <laughs> I forgot how slow this guy was to focus. Mike, there's no card in the camera. Oh. <laughs> I took it out to edit. Here you go. I have only one face when I take pictures, and it's face. really bad. Um, Dana, look down to the hands a little bit. And bring the chin back to me. Right there. And then bring the chin back to me a little bit more. And then eyes at me. There you go. That's pretty cool. Mine's better, though. It definitely looks like a pie photograph. It does. Man, I feel like it's like a pie photograph. <sighs> okay, Lee, I actually just need you to hold this so it doesn't drop. Oh, she is, Mike. I don't know if my other shots were sharp, Mike. Excellent. Mike! Bye. They're not sharp. Why not? Because I didn't focus. Why I thought it was automatically focus? focusing. back button focus. AF on, right there. <laughs> it's a uh, back button focus, so the AF on button there. <laughs> You have 10 seconds, do another one. <laughs> just take a quick one, because we got it set up. See the green the green box? Mike, Dude, if stop. that is your shot, Mike wins. <laughs> Wait, is that sharp? Mike, I hate you. So yeah. What's the deal? You you remove the focus from the shutter button and- Yeah, I use the back button. Everyone does that. I thought that's like common- No, practice. dude, anyone that takes one photograph an hour does that. <laughs> Freaking A, man. I hate these challenges, Lee. I don't know why you make me do this every time I'm here. It is the worst. Pi is so confident in all of his behind the scenes videos and his TikToks and his Instagrams. But when he's competing and there's a time limit, he breaks every time. No, it's not the time limit. And the, it's your shit talking. Bring the chin down to this side. There you go, Dana. That looks great. And then, <coughs> Who's that? COVID-19. COVID COVID We're gonna blow it away. <laughs> I blow. With the breath of God. COVID-19. 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 You know he's over time when, yeah, we're, when we're reenacting meme videos. No. How can she slap? How can she slap? How can she slap? How can it focus? I do have to say, I respect Mike's confidence. He set up one shot and he just did it. Pi keeps changing everything. He keeps messing with compositions. He's being inappropriate. This is not inappropriate. This is anything to get the shot. Let's see. Let's see what you no. came up with. No. Show her your image and see who she thinks is winning currently. That looks good. My arms look good in it too. Oh. <laughs> now. So which would be your favorite thus far? I mean, I, okay. Uh, <laughs> say no more. My iPhone photo of you in that shot, or Mike's photo of you oh. in that shot. Uh oh, for <laughs> God's sake. It's actually hard. Really, is it hard? I, I like this one. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is why I'm gonna win. What, you're gonna wear? No. 100 bucks if you wear that while you take it. I'm not doing that. I'm so glad I did not have to shoot the lingerie. Good God. I have two different thoughts here. Luckily, this comes with some other uh, accessories, including a polar bear jacket and then some sort of leather pants. I'll probably put her in all of that at first. Um, I'm thinking about doing one in front of some seamless that we have. 
the thing is, is that I really like Mike's shop because he's got the cool furniture in the background, but I can't shoot the same thing. I don't want to copy him. I don't know. All of our soft boxes that I'm accustomed to, most of them are in Puerto Rico. We have tons of soft boxes here, but just no big strips. So if I lose, that's the reason, obviously. Dana, if we don't take good pictures today, it's not you at all. No. It's the three of us. <laughs> so I'm just, just Someone got a up. good shot. One of us did. The problem is, Dana, no offense to your clothing, but this looks like, uh, you know, like the fashion photography that I used to do when I first started photography. It's like, you just put on a lot of stuff and then you do like weird poses. Did, do you know what Model Mayhem is? Yes, I do. Did you used to be on Model Mayhem? Yes. And I used to do, yeah. yeah. And like, this is exactly how I, the girls would be like, what should I wear? And I'm like, everything, put it all. Like, do you have a boa and a hat and everything? And so I'm at an extreme disadvantage right now. What I think is funny is the fact that you got a piece of lingerie, which we thought we're, you were gonna take pictures of, and then well, she's now I may, fully I covered. I might take it off. I just want to, I want to do a nice family friendly photo also, you know? Let me get you to turn your body this way a little bit. And then can you put, Wait, yeah. Are you perfect. done with the shit talking? Perfect. You can't be done with the shit. Stand right hey, here. You know what? You can show me this all you want, but it just reminds me of how she prefers Pi's iPhone photo to that one. So sorry, Mike. I don't know. You got beat already. I don't know. Um, I think you want to sandwich that uh, B flat in between like a sandwich. No, that's not sandwiching. Let the master work, Pi. Okay. Bye. Okay. <laughs> We're not creating TikTok videos here, we're creating art, mm. okay? I wanna let the master work, he just hasn't shown up yet. Dana, love what you've done with the shoulder there. Adds a little bit of interest. I don't think she's done anything, she's just sitting there and just, now she's fixing it because you made her uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't change it, now it looks good. All right, perfect. I think you should submit that. That's not very, in the spirit I, of the competition. It's not in the spirit of the competition. Lingerie shot, this is, this is. Well, I haven't gotten there yet. I'm just getting the lighting down, you know what I mean? Ronald Lee Morris, why are you adding a second light? Well, I just wanted a little bit more interest on the, uh, on the background. So what I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna try to use this one light to go through the papers. Mike, I don't mind if you win, I just don't want Lee to win. You won't, don't worry. He's out of practice, he hasn't won one in a while. Now, this camera, oh, here we go. Why are you holding like a grandmother? I, Cause I don't know how to get the live view to, to switch over. I haven't let, yet really learned how to use this. Just give him an iPad and complete this. Hey, at charade. least you got focus and a memory card. You're mm. doing good. It's actually turning out not too bad. I'm a little bit worried now. Okay, it's good. just boring. It's this doesn't, it's like my first studio shoot on Model Mayhem. Like congrats, you bought some Paul Buff lights and put a little shingle on Model Mayhem and here you are. This is a uh, Model Mayhem elevated. Why are you okay. laughing at that? Okay. I could see that. Yeah. I can hear the hate already. What are you talking about? What do you have against Paul Buff? <laughs> I like those shoes, Pi. Who makes them? These are, what should we call it? Steve. Kind of All right, guys. I just got to stop this right here. I am trying to edit this thing. And as you can see, this is a total disaster. Lee's photo shoot is so bad and so boring that even Mike and Pi are just now talking about their shoes. So I'm gonna jump ahead to the next little photo shoot that Lee tried to do. Warning, it's equally as bad. And hopefully we can get through to this and you guys can figure out who actually took the best photograph. Spoiler, it's not gonna probably be Lee Morris, but let's not tell him that. Let's just move ahead. Why, we, why would you have the need to do the same shot in a different spot? It's gonna be different. I see uh, a lot of insecurity from Lee. Oh, really? I can't commit to one photograph. I'm committing. I just, I, I must admit, Mike, I liked the furniture you put in the background. I'm just afraid that my seamless might be a little too plain. But what's, why, why do you get two, two sets? I did Dude, one set. I took seven sets, okay? I, I had two sets. You took one. How come everyone, I mean, I just, I just teed it up and did it. Like, the rest of y'all wouldn't recognize a good photo if it hit you in the face. Mike, you know the good news? Can I get you to uh, turn your body towards me just a little bit? Perfect. The good news is that I finished all the work that I need to do today in Lee's time right now. I am really bad at directing, but she's doing an amazing job, so I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. Let the expert work. You know what I'm saying, Dana? You know what, guys? I am done. How many shots do you take, Lee? Like seven or eight. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say we're okay. Looks like the Titanic or something. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Exactly. All right, high class. I think it's weak. I think it's uncreative and boring. All right, Dana, take a look at this one. What do you think of that? Oh, who is the winner? Do you hear how high her? I, I don't. I don't like how her voice went up like three. Ah, yeah, that's pretty good. Yes, I like it. It was like three octaves higher than normal. Yeah, she was I like, am. oh yeah, let me see the line. It's pretty good. And you can see some of these. Mm -hmm. Do you like those? Yes. See, it takes fifty different photos to get one good one. I just pretty much. You like these better? Yeah. Okay. I'll take that into cons consideration. Okay. Let's edit these photos real quick, and then I think we need to put them online or something and get a vote real quick so that we can have a winner. So give me just a second to edit this. All right, guys, we did the shoot. We edited the photos. We tried to put them online. We had a little trouble with our polling. Uh, so you ended up putting them on Instagram. People are voting as we speak right now. Correct. And you've got like a built-in excuse now. Because, because it's on my Instagram. So you're gonna say, Mar, they're your audience and they're already used to your photos and they're gonna vote for that, even though it's anonymous. Yes, if you win, it's because of that. But let's go through each image. We've now seen each other's images. What do we think of Mike's first shot? I kinda like it. I think it's a good shot. So I really liked it. Now that I see it high res and up close, I like it a little less. I feel like the model is a little kind of like warped out because you were kind of close with a wide-ish angle lens. I was 15 feet away. I know, but you were shooting full body. I just, there's a little bit of warping going on. I don't know that it's quite as flattering as I thought it was earlier. That being said, I still might like it the best. There are things I would have done differently. Namely, this photograph right here. I mean, that is pretty good. What do you think of that, Mike? It's okay, I just, the, the light dominates. And I feel like it's... The orange light? Yeah, I just like the context of mine a little better, the pulled back view. If I wasn't just trying to bash your photo, I would have grabbed an ND gel and stuck it in there to tone down that light. Just be honest, did we clue you into the lampshade? Uh, you know, I thought I could have done better to declutter it overall, but your opinions may have pushed me to removing <laughs> it. So now, on to Pi's shot. Pi was a total disaster. Your so, shoot was a disaster. Listen. First, I'm supposed to use LEDs. That was my challenge, LEDs. I also don't have my camera here, so I ended up using mics. That was a whole nother snafu. See, in the past, I would have just said, I'm gonna keep pushing through, and then I end up with something craptastic. See, I don't know if that's true. I think in every competition, you give up on your, your first idea, and you're like, oh, I gotta do something else. Because in every competition, I'm worried about you saying what you always say, which is like, you're just doing what you know. But that's you're just what doing you what did. You, know, you just gotta I went, commit. I, you just gotta commit. I quit trying something new and I went back to doing. So I, I literally said in the moment, I'm like, you know what? Screw what you say. I am gonna go back and do what I know. Well, what did you think of Pi's final black and white image? I think it's cool. I think it's very, very Pi. It looks like a photographer trying to do something neat. It's like an experimental sort of thing. Would you say gimmicky? If she, if, if there was context to this and it was like, this is Olympian ballet dancer, you know, in the studio with like the rail there and everything, I think it could work really well. I just think it needs a bit more context. Without some context, it's kind of flat for me. But I think it's technically a good image. She did struggle with the camera a bit. I'm glad you figured it out. Yeah, no memory card. That was a big one. No uh, autofocus. Missed my whole first set of <laughs> images because there was no autofocus set up. It was back button focus and uh, I forgot. And your camera takes pictures at a frame rate of one image per minute. <laughs> so onto my shoot. I uh, had to use Profoto. I did one on the seamless paper and then one over here on this wardrobe thing. And I preferred the one on the seamless. And then I got David as I was editing, culling the images, David came over and was like, the one on the wardrobe is the best. Exactly. So I edited that. And I was like, I don't like this, but David was like, it's definitely the best. And then, and then you showed, I showed the two trained photographers and we're both Well, like, I showed Mike and Patrick and they were like, this is horrible. Wait, you thought that was bad The too? one on the yeah. seamless well, is way better. This is why you just gotta commit. You can't, like you can't trip better. yourself up with options. Just but find Pi, a composition and make it happen. Pi, like the one here. But now that I'm looking at it next to your images, I'm like, maybe it is the worst. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, so I like what you did to the backdrop over there. Was that intentional? That double backdrop setup? It was just like that when I walked in. You gotta be definitely kidding me. That wasn't like a artistic decision. You're just like, I'm just gonna leave it there. This is like a story of your life. Like you lazy your way into success. I haven't won yet. I mean, if I win, then yes. 
But half the time when you win, it's like you're not even trying. That's so true. <laughs> well, I think it is time to see the results. We okay. might have like seven votes. Are we gonna have to tally from different places? Lee, yours was one. So if I say one, you put your finger up for each count, each vote, right? I'm two. Yours is uh, three. Three, okay. Okay, so if I say three, you put your finger up. If I say two, I'll put my finger up. Two. This is rigged, this is a rigged election. Two. I think you're forgetting to two. say one. What's important is that so far out of eight votes, nobody has selected number one. Damn it! Which in and of itself has already proven, I mean, we could wait for more to come in, but I do feel like this is indicating. Yeah, I think I think it's clear to say that everyone knows Pi does reflection pictures. It's probably all over his Instagram. He loves a puddle, loves a mirror. Anybody who follows like these reflection shots, they're gonna vote on more reflection shots, right? There, there is some truth to this. Look at look at five pictures ago. <laughs> 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 Five pictures ago, it's like the same shot. Yeah, at least mine's unique. But I put yours first, so people wouldn't like, you know. I think the YouTube comments should decide the winner because people love to get into it in the comments there. I think the next one we should post is, do they like the iPhone one better or the $12,000 camera? That's oh, that is, that is an interesting one. Yeah, so basically guys, we don't have a definitive answer. Definitely <laughs> seems we have like a clear Pi answer. is moving towards winning, but we don't know. We've only got like 10 votes. Wow. Because Mike has to leave. We're trying to do this all really quick. Anything You need to remove the margin of error. Yeah. Anything and that's a huge not for Lee. He quickly dismisses. I'm not dismissing. Also, also you you're asking are your audience. slightly ahead right now. It's the beginning of the race. Okay? Okay. YouTube, it is up to you in the comments. You have to let us know who is one. You have to let us know, was my shot, Pi shot, Mike shot better? And then we also want to know, was Mike shot better or Pi's identical shot with the iPhone. Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Head over to fstoppers.com slash store to check out our tutorials with these guys. Got any other plugs? All right, guys, we'll see you later. <laughs>